The following video is intended for general information only. The circumstances of each case are different and must be addressed on a case-by-case -case basis. The information in this video is specific to the state of Tennessee and is not a substitute for the advice of a lawyer. Also, laws may change and may be different from county to county. Legal Aid of East Tennessee presents the Anytime Attorney, legal information on demand 24-7. This video explains orders of protection, how to prepare for your day in court. Your court hearing date is almost here. It's important that you appear at your hearing, but you may have questions about how to prepare or what to expect in court. Plan to bring to court with you any witnesses that saw the abuse, any medical reports of injuries you received from the abuse, any pictures of your injuries or damages to your personal property, and any receipts from medical expenses or repairs of damage to your property because of the abuse incident. Prior to your court date, plan to be at court all day. Make arrangements for childcare or after school care. Reschedule work commitments and other appointments. On court day, arrive on time. It's okay to dress casually, but shorts and midriff tops are not allowed in court. Your case will be heard in a specific courtroom. Find out where you should be by asking the court clerk. Once in the courtroom, be patient. Your case will probably not be first. If your abuser is harassing or stalking you at court, notify an officer or the court clerk immediately. If you are not represented by an attorney, be prepared to tell the judge what the abuser did to you. Show any medical reports and any pictures you have related to the abuse incident. You must tell the judge what you want, an order of protection, custody of the children, child support, specific visitation for the abuser, exclusive use of the shared home, the car returned to you, that the abuser attend counseling for domestic violence, that your abuser have an alcohol or drug assessment. Once both sides have been heard, the judge will decide on the order. If the order of protection is granted, it is in effect for one year. But remember, the abuser cannot be punished by the judge if you do not inform the court that the abuser has violated the order of protection. The next video in this series explains what to do if your abuser violates your order of protection. This video was produced by Legal Aid of East Tennessee. The information in this video is not a substitute for the advice of a lawyer. Also, laws may change and may be different from county to county and in states other than Tennessee.